What the hell is coding money? Hmm. Doesn't make sense. Oh. Did you say coding money? Hi, this is Mahtar from CodingMoney.com and today we're going to be talking about coding money. What really fascinates me about coding is that you can create something from absolutely nothing. In this video, first I'll give you an example of coding money and then I'll show you three ways on how you can make money with coding. I have a bonus tip at the end, I think you really find it helpful. Let's take a look at a popular example that you can relate to. The first one that comes to mind is Amazon. Not the jungle, but the company. <laughs> you probably know this guy, Jeff Bezos is the founder of Amazon.com. While a lot of businesses have gone bankrupt and so many people have lost their jobs during the COVID-19 pandemic, he is projected to become the first trillionaire by the end of 2026. There are so many other big examples like Facebook, Google, Microsoft, etc. Here what I'm trying to say is that these are top companies started with an idea and nothing but coding. Now they're worth hundreds of billions of dollars. And if you want to be as big of a company as Amazon, there's nothing wrong with that. If you shoot for the moon, even if you miss it, you land among the stars. In fact, I can relate to that. When I was 14 years old, back in 2004 I believe, my biggest competition was Google. I wanted to beat Google at any cost. I even had a plan. First thing I needed was a domain name. It had to be better than Google. So I came up with golos.com. I had convinced myself that it was better and easier name than Google because it sounded cool and it was shorter. Secondly, I needed to make a billion dollars. So I brainstormed. My reasoning was that if I can get a billion people to pay me one dollar, then I can become a billionaire. <laughs> Simple. But then I thought to myself, it would be unfair if I'm the one making all the money and all the other people are poor. So I had to find a way to make money for the other people as well. So I came up with Golos Randomizer, the first product of Golos. The idea was simple and viral. I was offering a huge collection of ebooks for $3.5 only, but I would only take $1.5 for myself. My site would randomly select an existing member and pay out the $2. And if they refer their friends, they can always keep the $2. I was happy and people were happy too because they would usually make more than $3.5 that they initially spent. I made my first $1.5 on the first day I launched the website and my earnings kept on increasing day by day until I was making up to $100 to $150 a day. It was a lot of money for a 14 year old. I was on top of the world. Just like Jeff Bezos is the richest person in the world, I was the richest person in my school. <laughs> I was making money even while I was sleeping. And when I would wake up, the first thing I would check was my earnings. One day, <laughs> I woke up all excited and I go ahead and check my PayPal account. And I see there's zero earnings for that day. I check my website and I see that it had been hacked. Those bloody hackers never left me alone until I was out of business. I then realized that I needed to learn about website security. If I knew about security, that would have not happened. Anyways, the moral of this sad story is that you don't need to be competing with Google to make money online. We don't need a billion dollars. We only need enough money to fulfill our needs. There are still so many opportunities, so many problems we can solve and things that we can do with websites, apps, machine learning, blockchain and artificial intelligence. And we can do that not the hard way but the smart way by leveraging and using Google, Facebook, YouTube, Amazon to your advantage instead of competing with them. So my question for you is how much money do you need to fulfill all your dreams? That is for you to answer and you will have to come up with your own number. You will realize that the number will be much lower than a billion dollar. And if you're creative, you can achieve your target with the help of all these great companies. 
I'll probably have more on that in a later video. If you don't want to miss it, then don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell icon. Every moment in business happens only once. The next Bill Gates will not build an operating system, the next Larry Page or Sergey Brin won't make a search engine, and the next Mark Zuckerberg won't create a social network. If you're copying these guys, you aren't learning from them. This is a quote from my favorite book, Zero to One by Peter Thiel. Before I go on to tell you three ways of making money with coding, I would like to mention that. If you're not interested to learn coding and your only intention is to make money, then you can stop right now. This channel is not for you. You gotta be really interested. Don't get caught up with money a lot. I know my channel is called Coding Money, but it should be just like a motivation. If you want to learn because you're genuinely interested in coding and because you want to create something so that you can help a lot of people, then money will follow. That is a byproduct. Actually, there are so many ways to make money with coding. I'm just gonna give you like three uh, ways in this video because otherwise the video is gonna be very long and uh, I don't wanna bore you uh, with uh, a lot of information. I'm just gonna give you uh, three ways. Solve a problem, create value for people. If you're a beginner, don't think about the money. Once you know the basics, the best way to learn coding is to start creating something. Find a problem and try to solve it by creating an app or a website. Focus on creating as much value for as many people as possible. And if it can help people solve a problem, they will be willing to pay for it. Or you can get revenue by placing some advertisements on your app. I will have another video to explain that further, but know that you can make money this way. Solve a problem for a large number of people. Here's a pro tip. If your friends or relatives need a website, create it for them. And if you get paid, that is good. Even if you don't get paid, that's fine. You can put that on your resume, GitHub or in portfolio. Focus on building a portfolio first, which you can later use to apply for a job or work as a freelancer. Use GitHub. It is completely free. I have a whole video on GitHub. Check it out if you want to learn about it. So the second way is on-site and remote jobs full-time, part-time, remote, on-site, it's up to you. You have to decide what you want. So the easiest and quickest way to monetize coding is to get an entry job if you're a beginner. The more projects you work on, the better coder you'll become. In other words, you will get paid to learn coding. That's the beauty about getting a job. You can search for jobs in the local job search website of your country. Or if you want to work from home, you can apply for a remote job on flexjob.com. It costs about $15 a month. I've used this website and I found a remote job with good pay, you know, but it was very long time ago. You can also try Stack Overflow jobs and LinkedIn. The third way of making money with coding is to work as a freelancer or a contractor. Freelancers and contractors both work for organizations temporarily. They have greater financial and professional independence than the typical employee who receives a salary and benefit for part or full-time work. As a contractor, you might work on-site, in a client's office, or in your own workspace, and you may accept clients through an agency. If you want to work as a freelancer, there are many websites out there that you can use, like Freelancer, Upwork, uh, Fiverr, Although you can make money there, but the pay will be low because there's going to be a lot of competition. Here's the bonus tip that I was talking about. If you don't like the idea of searching and finding a job to work as an employee or finding clients to work as a freelancer or a contractor, how do you like the idea of clients and companies finding you? And then you can decide who to work with. Once you have completed some good projects, create and showcase your work on your portfolio you can run targeted ads on Facebook and Google and your local area. With some online marketing, you can have customers contact you and then it's up to you to shortlist who you want to work with. You can explore that on your own. However, I'll have many videos about online marketing in the future, so stay tuned for that. You're not done yet. Uh, if you want to learn about GitHub, 
click on the video on the right or left or uh, find it on the screen and if you want to subscribe to the channel click on the coding money logo and click on subscribe and hit the notification bell thank you so much